In this video, I'm showing how to use a gene pool. So let's create an object. Let's create a box. So let's start with a rectangle and let's create a 12 by 12. Let's create a box. So let's create a box from a rectangle. So box rectangle, plug that in there and we can use that same 12 for the height. Now let's go ahead and hide this and deconstruct the blue ref. That way we can get the different faces, edges, or vertices. And if we want to pick just four of the sides, uh, just to do the outer walls, uh, we could do a list item. So list item. And you can see that if we pick one of the items of index zero, we just pick one. But now if we want to pick multiple ones, uh, and we don't want to do just one slider of one and one slider of two because we could go ahead and actually do that. Um, we're going to create something called a gene pool. So let's type in gene pool and plug that in here. Now we, this gives us nine, actually 10 different values because we started zero. And so let's actually double click here. Let's go to zero decimals, uh, minimum of zero, maximum of, let's do a five and then a gene count of how many of these we're gonna create four. So let's do a, actually a three, or, let's do three. And so here we have, actually let's uh, do four here. So it's gonna create from zero to three. And if we plug that into there, we see that if they're all at one, two, it's gonna create four of the same ones. And we can actually go to zero, one, two, three. And now we have an open box segment that we uh, used the gene pool to kind of organize that information, get more than one number into the, the list item uh, selection. So that's a way that you can uh, now join together this, this burette and, you know, play around and do other things. Um, you can select other items. You don't have to just select the faces you can also select the edges and if we see here it selects the rectangles you can also select the vertices and so that's just uh, a useful way that you can get more than one number using G so hopefully you learned something and this is a quick tip tutorial that I wanted to share with everyone and hopefully you learned something and if you like this content make sure to subscribe and like the video uh, thank you for watching see you next time